Okay, welcome back. So this video is to go over all the combinations of strokes. Now these combinations are like short little phrases that can help you build strength and um, understanding as you move around the drum. Okay, I will show you most of them in a first speed, which is what I highly recommend you stay in for a very, very long time this month. But I also am offering a double time speed. If you feel like you have the strokes and you want to get a little something more, you can try to play them a bit faster. But let me caution you, do not play them faster if all the sounds on your drum turn to mishmash when you go faster, okay? We'll build up speed over time, but I don't want you to practice bad habits. This first month is all about setting a a super great and solid foundation. So I'm just gonna dive into these. My expectation is that each one of these combinations you put on your metronome and you set a timer for two to three minutes and you play the same combination during that time over and over again until it starts to feel very natural, very comfortable and uh, easy for you, okay? All right, I'm going to dive in. So the first combination goes doom, ka, doom, ka, doom, ka. So I'm using the middle finger for my doom, and I'm using my left hand for a ka. Figuring out how to balance the drum and play. Now continue this, but I'll show you what double time sounds like. And continue on with that. The next combination is called pa, ka. Pa, I'm pressing, it's in the same position as the doom, but I'm pressing instead. Pa, ka. Now there's two ways to do this. The way that I'm doing it right now is I'm leaving my pa hand and I'm playing a ka, which is more like a pop. So I want you also to practice lifting your pa right before the ka like this. And this is the more traditional way. This is what most teachers would expect from them writing down pa and ka is that you're lifting your hand. Practice both ways so you have the options. And double time. Make sure you're not getting any open sounds. You want it to press. Okay, good. Next we have tech and ka. So here, tech, ka, tech. I want these sounds to match in my fingers so it almost sounds exactly the same. Keeping my thumb down, my fingers straight in both hands. Double time sounds like this. Tech-ka, 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 tech-ka. Good, and continue on with that. Now the next one brush brush ka okay so we're gonna go brush brush and then we lift our hand off brush brush ka you have to learn how to balance the drum and play a ka keep your ka finger down the whole time except lift it right before my hand is coming off on the top But I can also do it with my hand staying on. This is a less traditional, so hand on. Changes the sound of the cup. But it's a little easier to play. Double time sounds like this. Four. Okay, next stroke is combining doom ka, pa ka, and tech ka together all in one combination. So it sounds like this doom ka, pa ka, tech ka. Doom ka, pa ka, tech ka. You have to 
to differentiate between all the strokes. sounds like this. this um, where I'm bending my finger and not moving my hand like this so notice how my hand and my elbow are moving in and then moving out my shoulder is moving uh, out a little bit too this is what you want your whole arm moves in this position Double time. Now, if you double time this, you have to be really careful because what ha tends to happen is your hand turns into a floppy fish and you don't get either of the sounds anymore. So I want you, if you're double timing, make sure you're getting clear, precise sounds. and then I'm stopping it. Now, remember on the paw, you press a little bit with the other hand, my left hand. And that allows it so that you can use gravity and it just feels a little more ergonomic to do that. Doom, pa. Doom, pa. Now, double time again, same as last. If you do double time, it's really easy to kind of lose the quality of sound. So make sure you don't lose it. Vibrate and stop. Okay, good. Next pattern goes doom, brush, brush, doom, brush, brush. So this is one where when I come off my brush, I bring my hand around and I just bring my palm towards the camera and I use my thumb, or sorry, my, I mean my middle finger. So I bring it up, around, and then turn my wrist and then just bring my middle finger in. So it sounds like this. Doom, down, up, doom. And it sort of feels like that doom, you just kind of have to rush in there. It's basically what you have to do. Make sure you're just still getting your middle finger. And wrist and hit, wrist and hit, wrist and hit. You can actually get quite a lot of power doing that. time sounds like this. Again, make sure you're getting clear sounds, not extra sounds. All right, the next stro uh, combination stroke is doom, kaka, doom, kaka. This is just teaches you how to play two kas in a row. Notice how my ka finger stays down when I play the doom. Because that ka finger stays down except for when it's playing to help support the drum. So if you find your ka finger is floating upwards, that's creating 
double time is B. But again, my finger's staying down. So with this exercise combination, really make sure you're checking in with that. Okay, next we have Doom Ka Tech Ka. Doom Ka Tech Ka. So going from Doom Ka to Tech Ka. This is, as I said before, like the bread and butter of the frame drum rhythms because you can throw this in a lot. You'll, this will be useful to you and you can really play this pretty fast. So once you get your strokes, you can try a double time. Doom ka tekka. And you might notice that you're like, oh wow, I could even play it faster than that. So if you want to try triple time. Doom ka tekka. But again, make sure you're getting those strokes. Okay, next we have Doom Tech Pa Tech. This is all of our main right hand strokes. It's really good because it teaches your hand how to play each stroke, and you can go slower than this. I recommend starting very slow. Here, I'll try to slow it down. It's better to start out slower and get all the proper hand placements because otherwise you can teach yourself bad habits and this is your foundation. So take the time. There's no hurry to get anywhere. We're just here with our drum. Double time. If you get there by the end of the month, sounds like this. Doom tech, ka tech. The next one goes doom ka ka ka. Doom ka ka. This one is mainly designed so you can work on keeping your finger down on the doom and also building strength with your ka hand. Double time sounds like this. Doom ka ka. strength if you do that for a minute or two and then we have one more brush 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 doom now I like to start this brush up and I go down up down sorry I like to start on the down part and I go up sorry up down up doom because I like to play my dooms coming off of the top of the drum so a lot of times you have to work that out in the rhythm if you're adding brushes which way you have to go in advance. So here we go. We've got brush, 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 doom, brush, brush, brush. Same thing as before. You just come around, hit with your middle finger. Faster speed. Okay. All right. So that's all your combination strokes. Make sure you practice them slowly. And if you get your basic strokes down, you can start to fill in your basic strokes with some of these basic combination patterns. And those will um, start to take the place of your basic strokes later this month.